Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to come and show you guys a foundation because I wanted to do kind of a um, color match. Well, I wanted to do a color match and I wanted to do it on camera. The reason being is because I had ordered the foundation online and I had to basically go off of what was too light and what would be too dark or which undertone wouldn't work by doing this online. So I ordered it from Sephora.com and I opened the box, but I ain't take it out yet. So this is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation, and this is the packaging for it. And then I also got some some other items. And then, let's see, got a few other items. I used some of my points, and um, I got my normal fragrances that I normally would get from you know your free samples. Then I also got a I think this is like a deluxe size of this Tom Ford Black Orchid perfume, and then I got some Origins skincare items so that's that but then this is what the packaging looks like for it feels so nice like that velvety uh velvety matte and it's in the color dark one manus m-a-n-a-u-s 6627 there you go all right and Okay, it says shake well. And on the side it says meet NARS first long wear foundation that looks stronger, stays longer with skin recognition pigments for the truest color truest color match and 16 hours of wear. Featuring NARS skin optimizing complex, which includes raspberry, apple, and watermelon extracts for smoother, healthier looking skin. Instructions for use, shake well, apply a small amount starting in the center of the face and blend outward. And then I know online it said don't use a lot. I had uh, looked that up. I wonder, is my other phone? I don't see my other phone because I was going to look it up to read it. Shake it up, shake, 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 shake. But yeah. So I think I did a pretty, ooh, this might be too, <laughs> think, this might be too dark for your girl. Like, this is really red. I can see that already. This is really red. I'm trying to look at my other foundations. Like, maybe y'all can see that. But we gonna try it out, you know what I mean? I'm saying I'm gonna try it out. Dang, I thought I was spot on because the other, I don't know. But anyway, it comes with a pump. So that's cool, you know, boom, bam, take it off. Comes with a pump, also has a color on the bottom. Shake it up a little bit more. Oh, you know what, I didn't put a primer on and I don't think I'm gonna put a primer on, but I've been trying something different. That's another thing I wanted to do a video on. Um, for some reason, I feel like my skin has changed from being like oily, that it's now almost normal to combination. I don't know if it has anything to do with um, an acne medication I've been using or not, but I've been using it now for about two months and um, it does dry your skin out. But like when I skip a day or I'll even skip a week or two, I notice like my skin is not as oily. Now, don't get me wrong, when I do have foundation on my nose, like this area right here does get quite um shiny but i can't say like oily like you know i remember i could touch it and i could see the the the, the oiliness of it but i can't say that so what i've been doing is trying to figure out what should i do as far as primers are concerned because it's either i use a hydrant and primer which i feel like will not work too well being that i do get oily in this area then if i use like a mattifying primer it kind of gets really dry in that area and i just I don't know. So what I've been doing is using like just something to kind of um, combat my pores. So I put just a little bit right here and a little bit on my nose. And honestly, that's really all I've been putting on my face. Not a primer all over my face unless I feel like my skin. You know what primer is really good though? This um, Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer with Coconut Water. This is my second sample of this. And I actually want to purchase the full size because it really does feel like my face feels like hydrated it feels replenished like it'd be feeling dry or whatever 
uh, like normal or whatever. And then I put this on and it feels like it's moisturized again. So I'm just going to use this um, Hard Candy Sheer Envy Pore Defense Primer Serum. Smooths away, smooths pores away. It's oil free, silicone free, and alcohol free. So I'm going to use that. Um, yeah, I'm going to use that. a little bit and I just put it right here where I know my pores are at and sometimes I take those um pore filling primers and I put them where I know I have like texture at so I'm gonna put that right up in here put some on my nose and then I put some over here because I have texture over here and I feel like that kind of helps another thing I like to do too this is like uh, a combination of a video like it has some of everything that I want to talk about but um, another thing I do is I shave my face like I shave my face I don't take like um, a clippers or anything to shave my face but I take the eyebrow shaper that we all buy at the beauty supply I take one of these and I just shave my face like I just did that before um, coming on camera and uh all right so that's on and you know, i'm just trying to find a foundation that this shade is close to that i have but i don't really have any so yeah that's quite dark but we're gonna see so oh that it really doesn't come out with a lot that's two pumps um i'm gonna it's really red. It feels real smooth, almost like a um a cream. Like that's what it looks like. That's it on my finger, and I'm gonna do this one side first. Look, hopefully y'all can see what it looks like. Yeah, it's a bit dark, but um. <laughs> try to work it out use my beauty blender it is damp it's very red i bet you this would be my perfect summer shade i see i can tell and it blends in real good All right, so I did want to pull out my um, other phone just to pull it up. So it says I have it on this side already, which it actually looks really good. This might, this might work. Um, there are 33 shades, and the one I have is Manel's Dark with Caramel Undertones. And it's supposed to have medium to full coverage it's for all skin types um what else it's transfer resistant sweat resistant formula stays color true all day and continues to look fresh and vibrant as if it was just applied this formula features superior blendability for an impressible i think that's how you say it effect that looks natural like skin it doesn't look or feel cakey heavy drying or masking a unique combination of translucent base with micronized amino acid coated pigments all right um i just want to show y'all how to use it says precautions too much formula accentuates lines and imperfections Avoid excess application around eyes or contours of the face. And then it tells you like the suggested usage. If you just go look that up, there it goes. There it goes. Okay. 
and um the one before this shade that i have because i have dark one i believe it's dark five marquez marquise and it's medium to dark uh, to the medium dark to dark with yellow undertones. Let me see. I could pull up the image they have to show you all. Because this is how I went by finding mines. The one I have is the first one up here at the top. But the other one would be this one down here. So, I don't know. I feel like... Okay, now I feel like is really good like <laughs> I think this is good I'm gonna stick with the one I have it looks really good on my face and this is what the side that I have it on looks like make sure y'all can see that let me zoom in a little bit so this is the side with the foundation and then this is the side without foundation kind of dried a little bit so I'm going to take out another pump but so far so good and to be honest I don't even think I just like to get my foundation shade correct but as far as like if I would have took it back on anything I wouldn't have because I could kind of work with something being too red as long as it's not overly red you know what I'm saying but um because I can use it in the summertime. I just like to know what my foundation shade is. Like, you know, to know. I just be wanting to know. I do be wanting to know. Mm, a little bit came off of my hand. And it's supposed to be like transfer resistant and stuff. Can definitely still see um i have moles now i do have moles <laughs> i can't believe it but i have moles and i have um dark spots and i can still see my dark spots and things like that it actually feels like i have nothing on my face like as if i didn't put anything on that's how it feels but i can see that one um uh that one even tone for my complexion i'm gonna go and put on one more drop, one more full pump. And apply that right in these areas here. I really don't mind the foundation being red on me. I can see that it has that red in it, but I don't care. It doesn't bother me makes me look um tanned you know I think I'm gonna get a sample of the other shades because even with the Fenty foundation, I feel like when I did get matched, I did still have my tan and I feel as though that it was great for that time. But then once it did get really cool by like November, I could tell that the foundation was a tad bit too red. So I also wanna try um, 430 and 420 just to see because I heard that um, it's, 
I don't know, for some reason it's like multiple shades can work for you with the Fenty foundation. So I do want to get samples of other shades in that one. And I want to get another sample. I want to get a sample of this um, Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation as well. Just to see, you know, kind of try to match myself up. But this is how it looks. And um, I am going to come back once I finish like applying my, um, I'm going to just do some concealer and highlight. Yeah. And I'll be back with that highlight because I want to show y'all my new highlighter that I got. <laughs> I am blending in my um, concealer. You know, it's funny. I didn't even realize I had picked this one, right? And I'm like, oh, um, this is the Radiant Creamy Concealer that I picked. And this is my, um, the powder I'm using is the Ben Nye. I mix my Ben Nye powders with the, um, Cody Airspine. I really, really, really like these powders. I don't, they just blend in really good to your skin. I like these powders a lot. They work really well together. Wow, that foundation really, it does look really nice. Mm hmm I like that. Um, I am going to use, I think I'm going to use this um, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish to kind of sweep everything away. Or set it, whatever. I don't know. But I'm going to use some Dark Leap. take um where is my contour powder hold on one second all right so now i'm going to go ahead and highlight my face i um finished up my eye area and contoured a little bit this is the artist couture jackie aina new highlighter and this is in um exclusive packaging because if you guys remember the one that came out last year it did come in i have the box over here it came in this gorgeous box and that was for lebron's and it came with four travel size diamond glow powders as well as the lebron's Put that back over there perfect so this year's um collaboration came, well you did that <laughs> you could purchase the bundle which came with LeBron's and the little sister La Peach as well as this little um, makeup bag with her signature and artist couture on there and you could also purchase La Peach separate or LeBron's separate and you could purchase the bag separately so I purchased La Peach in the bag because I just had to um, so this is LeBron's and I'm going to swatch LeBron's on my hand and I'm gonna put La Peach on my face. So I'm gonna get it. Let me see. The 
some reason I be feeling like the camera don't be picking up the gorgeousness of my highlighters sometimes. Like, I ain't trying to be wasting my product, but I'm trying to show y'all. Okay, there we go. There we go, there we go. Well, that's LeBron's. There we go. All right. And I'm going to use this Morphe Y14 brush. crazy for y'all so y'all can see it you know you know oh, that's so pretty I might even do LeBron's on the other side so you can see the difference yeah that is gorgeous real pretty all right and i'm digging that uh-oh i'm gonna try to see oh let me use this brush this is my sonia kashuk brush and i'm gonna go ahead and do the bronze on this side and i hope y'all can see that Yeah, definite difference. This one is more on the bronzy copper copper side, whereas this is more golden. Um, let me see if I zoom in if that will help. So this is the side with LeBron's, and then this is the side with the peach. So yeah, I would definitely, definitely say I could see the difference. Wow, that's really pretty. All right, so let's get a little more the peachy, and. my lip glowing over there <laughs> i'm only being a little you know putting on an extra amount so that you guys can really see the payoff but you can go light and subtle if you want to you know it's up to you let me zoom out a little bit yeah there we go and then i'll put some of the bronze on my forehead Just tap off the excess. Because once you tap off the excess, like literally, it's almost just a dusting that's going to get on you. I'm going to put this all over here. Get crazy with it for y'all. Get a little crazy. Just a little crazy. Yeah, 
this is banging. <laughs> like I said, this is LeBron's. I'm gonna zoom in. LeBron's and then this is La Peach. I'm digging it. Alright, this video is long enough. So I hope you guys um enjoyed this video and um let me know what you guys think of the foundation and if you guys have tried the NARS, what is it, the natural radiant long wear foundation let me know in the comment section if you're getting ready to try it if you're excited to try it um i'm gonna let you guys know like you know how i feel about it once i wear it a couple of more times and things like that and um yeah that's it peace